could. Bitch, I bet I would. On the low, what's up with you, ho? Bitch, you smoking drunk. Bitch, you know, bust like 44 when I spit that flow. Cause we go. Alright, uh, how to beat a Citadel with two stars. This is a real popular base. This is a very strong variation of this base. And the idea behind it is that you want to break down this funneling that they've got here with the ring of non-defensive items right there in the middle. Um, they're trying to get your golems to go around. You don't want your golems to go around. This is how you do it. You're going to drop two on each corner, followed in with a couple of wizards, and a jump spell in the middle there. Then you're going to drop a golem in the middle. Uh, this golem that you drop in the middle is the one that you want to go through that jump spell that you just dropped and hopefully you'll catch one of your golems at least also going towards the center and then your heroes are going to have nowhere else to go except for right up through the middle you're going to rage them once they get into that area or not you can freeze whichever one you prefer both of them generally acceptable in this regard uh, you get those heroes in the middle with a golem in front of them and you are going to get the town hall the 50% part is probably the easy part because there's not a whole lot of walls to slow you down uh, we've got the town hall here we've got a lot of wizards out there still behind that bar king and a full golem there the archer queen is tearing stuff up on the back end still have a full golem we are up to 58% a couple of wizards cleaning up they're finally getting shot on the outside over there Still have a full-size golem in front of our queen right here in the core. I don't think they're going to make it out of there alive. 67% uh, now, and this is probably about where this is going to end. And a good day uh, with some lower defenses. You probably make it out of that core right there faster than this is going to make it out. So there they go. They broke out, but it's pretty much too late at this point. With some lower-level defenses, you're probably going to Honda this base with this type of setup. So there you go. That's how to two-star a Citadel ring base. Um, here's another example for you. Same type of setup. We're going to have two golems on the corner. We're going to wall break them into that middle department. Going to throw that jump spell down on the inner part of that circle. Or corner, I mean. And then we're going to put our golems, in this case, two. Follow them up with some wizards. Just throw some wall breakers in there for good measure. Would have been cool if they had jumped that wall and went and broke the inner wall, but they didn't. Uh, this time we got some max heroes. And we've got two golemites and two golems. That third one's probably going to come inside too. He, there he goes. Oh, so, so we now have three golems in the center compartment, followed by the bard king and the archer queen and several wizards. This one's looking pretty good too. We're only at 31%. And there's a whole lot of firepower going on right there in the middle. But that ought to go away pretty soon. We've hit the Barb King's ability. He's about to go through and wreck the hero on the other side and timely freeze on the single target inferno so that the Barb King isn't dead. He is the uh, single target's locked onto a barb now, which is awesome. And another barb and now it's down. We are at 50%. We are at two stars. We have a Golemite, the Barb King, and now we use the Queen's ability. And I'm thinking probably, let's see, she's dead right there. Yeah, probably about 60% here. 62. Nothing's going to hit that wizard until he gets it up to 63 or 4. 63. There you go. Please join us over at Shogun Family, download the Band app, and apply to us. We'd love to see you.